Good evening and thanks for joining us. A step back in time at a full house at the Des Moines Public Library as Iowans celebrate Black History Month. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichart tells us why a Monroe County mining town is still important today. There may not be much to look at right now, but believe it or not, a little over a hundred years ago, this was the site of a thriving coal mining town right here in Iowa. Welcome to the lost town of Buxton. It's not the easiest place to find. What's left of the town is off a minimum maintenance road in Monroe County. Many Iowans might not have even heard of it. One conversation I had with my grandmother mentioned that her father um, ran the store in Buxton, the general store. Martha Bosenberg has family connections to Buxton, but even she didn't know much about the community. That's what brought her out to the Northside Library in Des Moines. Author Rochelle Chase has written two books on Buxton, and she was happy to share her findings on what made the town so special. There is equal access to opportunities, jobs, etc. So you have this happening literally in this small town in Iowa in 1900 where, you know, this is not the norm for that time period. Buxton was majority black, as much as 55% of the population. At a time of widespread segregation in America, the town was largely unique for being almost completely integrated. Black and white miners lived and worked alongside one another. Today's presentation inspired Bosenberg to do even more digging on her family's connection to the town. I'm going to look at my great-grandmother's obituary if I can find it and find out about what her father's name was and which side of the family was involved in the Buxton uh, general store. So what's the big deal about Buxton in 2022? Chase says that there's still a lot to learn from the mining town. Giving people the tools they need to succeed produces results. We can also learn, you know, what happens when people are allowed to just thrive, to rise, to be leaders, to, you know, to live the life that they want to have. In Monroe County, Carson J.S. Reichart, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Now, Buxton was once home to several noteworthy Iowans. E.A. Carter, the first black graduate of the University of Iowa College of Medicine, and George H. Woodson, who co-founded the Niagara Movement, which eventually became the NAACP.